You know, it gets a lot colder during the night time now. <laughs> Did I scare you? Come on, I was only playing around. Don't give me that look. Anyway, what are you up to? Uh, I see. Just doing some scoping out of the city, huh? You know, I should be doing that myself, but I saw you and I thought it was the perfect time to come annoy you. Mm-hmm. So how have you been? That's good to hear. You've been catching up on your uh, studies and whatnot. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Um, there is a few things that I have to talk to you about, though. You see, there's been a few times I've seen you walking around with a certain person that I kind of know myself. Don't know the kid that much. All I know is he's been seen as a villain now because he's gone AWOL. You know exactly who I'm talking about. Don't you? Mm-hmm. That green-haired kid from your school. No one's has really seen him around. But since you came back around, he's been popping up more recently. Especially with you. So I got one question for you. You working for someone? Hmm. You know, I don't take too kindly when people ye yell and also lie to me. After all, I don't work for the Heroes Association. My company does. So anything I do under contract doesn't fall against legal allegations against the Heroes Association. So that means I can interrogate you any way I see fit. Now, I have many ways of making you talk. But I feel like you're just going to talk to yourself. Mm-hmm. I see. So you really don't work for anyone. Whew, I'm glad. I thought I was about to throw one of my favorite kids out in the cells in jail. <laughs> but besides that... Why have you been hanging out with him? Was he like a friend of yours or something more? I see. So, let me just put the puzzle together. You only hang out with him because you're getting information. I see. So you're getting information from a rogue hero to know where the villains are 
to stop them before they can do anything. <laughs> you can color me impressed. Little feather? I didn't know your detective work went so deep. You're already shaping out to be a gray hero. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Oh, yeah, my phone's ringing. Hold on. Hey, yo. Hmm? Uh, um... Well, I don't think I have anything planned for this week. Why? Oh, what student would that be? I see. Uh-huh. I won't be late, hothead. Anyway. Hmm? Oh. That was Endeavor. He called me. Because he wants me to have a meeting with him. With you by my side. I think he's caught wind of what you're doing. And he wants to also interrogate you. Just to make sure. But don't worry. I'll have your back. Because I know you're not really doing anything wrong. You're being more of a hero than most heroes would ever be. I'm proud of you for that. It takes some real skills. Well, me? I'm on break right now. I'm just flying around. Just, uh, looking around. Looking at the city. Until I get something, like, on a page or something like that that tells me there's a robbery or some sort of crime going on, and then I swoop down and deal with the problem. Mm hmm I just saw you up here and was just curious, and now we're here. All right. Oh, um, I will text you when I get the time to have the meeting tomorrow. So here's my number. There you go. And uh, don't worry about deleting it afterwards. You can keep it. I might take you under my wing. Just for a little bit of training, that's all. You can see, strength and knowledge isn't all about being a good hero. You need to be quick on your feet. I could teach you a few things about that. Mm-hmm. All righty. Well, <sighs> I should probably get going myself. I probably need to get some shut-eye soon here. Probably fly back to my house, order me some tokoyaki, and then get some sleep. Mm-hmm. You be careful out here now. Wouldn't want to see a little feather go to waste. <laughs> hey, don't forget. Bring a coat next time. Like I said, it gets chilly at night. All right. Ciao. <laughs>